actually, funnily enough, the comments from magicians have been amazing. Uh, a lot of people that we know um, have kind of been in touch and said, you know, congratulations, you did the Magic World Proud. And even more so from magicians we have never met. And they're sort of tweeting us and messaging us saying, you know, congratulations. And it's you know, just amazing. Stephen Mulhern's, you know, a magician. And, uh, you know, last night, the first thing that he said to us was, you know, on a technical level, your act was first class so that was really nice coming from him because you know we respect you know his opinion yeah so. have you got have you got a hero apart from Stephen Mulhern have you got anyone else that you love well I mean for me when I grew up it was David Copperfield and David Copperfield is still out performing 500 shows a year and you know for me he is still the, the man you know the greatest and let's magician. be honest that you know a lot a lot of people wouldn't be doing magic today if it wasn't for Dynamo so you know there's influences from all around the world and hopefully we can Add to that. Have you had any comments that you loved on Twitter? Like really wanted to print off and put them on your wall? Well, one of my favourites when we did our audition was somebody was convinced that they knew how it was done and they wanted to tell everybody that we'd had a bionic uh, eye implant. So that was yeah. one of my favourites. And a fake hand. A fake and hand I was and texting, a bionic eye. I was texting Andrew from under my jacket or something like that. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny, the theories online have been like so far-fetched and nuts yeah. but no one's even got close which is fun reading it if you don't represent women in politics